Good morning guys, Pitambiria here. Now I'll take you through what uh, it takes before you start any 3D printing on your machine. Of course you need to have a 3D model. There's a piece I designed a while back. I want to print a couple of them. You can see how it is. I'm using SolidWorks by the way. So after I'm through I have to save it as an STL file. After which I open my slicing uh, software, which is now Repetia. I arrange them in that order. I know the capabilities of my printer. So in this case, I want each head to be printing 10 pieces. I go ahead and slice it based on the parameters that I've set. And then I preview how they will look like laid on the bed of the printer. I can view specific layers, uh, let me see layer number one, I'm just setting up there, that's layer number one, you can see, you can go layer number two, three, four, five, six, seven, you can see all that, so those are different layers, so I'm just clicking through the layers, and it changes, so after I'm through with that, I save it. So I save, after saving, I transfer it to an SD card. And in this case, those files are here. Um, they are G-code format, machine language. Only the printer understands this printer right here. I come, set it. I won't insert it completely. I have to come to the settings. Now that my printer is capable of producing multiple parts, I select three copies. I need the original number one and then three copies two, three, four. So one, two, three. Those are copies and the original. So those are four copies. So I select three copies. Go back. And then I insert the uh, mem card completely. It should start reading it. I go select whichever file I want. starts heating up the heads that's why they are red and the entire bed raises to meet where the heads are so it heats up the heads you can see the heads are right now, the target temperature is 195 degrees. You can see the various heads heating up at different, of course, temperatures. Not so much different, but yes. It's not until all of them get to 195, that's when it starts laying out the foundation. It takes a minute or two to get to the set temperature doesn't take too much time you can even see printing hasn't started so when you see the temperatures getting to 195 it starts now regulating to make sure it doesn't go past 195 with two degrees it just gets there uh, shuts it down wait for it the temperature to drop and then continues that cycle that's how you will see them flashing That's the foundation being laid right there. I'm using translucent or transparent uh, filament. That's why you can't even tell where it's laying. But you can even see that filament right there. Uh, printing in progress. Now it's now doing infills. Oh, the movements are mesmerizing, man. That's the printing speed. Normal printing speed at 100% can go a lot faster. 150%. But in this case, I just maintain the original 100% printing speed.
so this will go on like this for the next uh, six or seven hours after which I'll have uh, printed or the machine will have printed 40 pieces because now it's 10 for each head All the pieces are done, 40 pieces at a go, and that makes me a happy man right here. Mass production, the way to go.